have won, but this is a team with upset potential in Platteville, and they cannot afford to be taken lightly if they're on the Osprey's side. Gino low on boost. Slow. Was trying to push that downfield. A demo on Mars. Already some pressure coming out. Gino, a light shot and fluff ball. We'll clear it out to the side. Didn't get the second hit, however. The lob. Gino gets a piece of it. Out to Bussy. Clear back out to Dark. Dark up in the air to Gino. Gino didn't make contact. And Slow will hit it out to the side. Gino forced to deny the backboard. Did it wonderfully and was able to get back to the backboard now. Setting up the counterattack. Gino will tap it up for Bussy. Bussy faking out two oh, wow. defenders. And now he lobs it to the middle. Dark was way far away, however. That was a, a nice effort for Bussy to get those two defenders to miss, but didn't have the support. And that's what kind of tends to happen when you, you get a big break like that. And the, and the guy that's on the opposite end of the field that can actually make the play is playing back on defense. And Gino Cop, I mean, he's right behind the first man. So, and oh, it might be in. It is finally in. Let's see if this is the new slowest goal by slow. It's now it's seven. seven. <laughs> Oh, what a disaster. That's so unfortunate. I mean, th that ball pings off a very tough read on the backboard for uh, Stockton, and, and they get caught playing too far forward, and I can understand why. They had great control of the ball for the first minute and a half, and I think they were just so locked into that rhythm that they go, wait, is anyone back? No? Oh, dear. And, and then they paid for it. And we kind of got the same vibes from the previous game with Sioux College and Ohio State where we were always kind of waiting and expecting Ohio State to start their attack and maybe get some goals back, but Sioux College was able to maintain their lead. We're seeing a bit of a, a similar start here for Platteville, getting an early lead from Stockton who hasn't been able to get much, but finally they do shut me up right away with a quick counterattacking goal. Can always trust that with Dark. That's a great clear from Bussy. And how about that redirect? Let it come over the shoulder, square it up with the outside part of the car, just right down the middle, because you should be splitting the defense. And Dark, all season long, has shown that he has remarkable spatial awareness and can absolutely nail those redirects from just about anywhere. As this one's down the middle and kicked out to the corner, Dark making a save now. Free flip from Bussy, and he got the mid boost. Could stay in the play. He'll move up to be second man. No, he'll wait. Let Dark take over. Now we'll be going in. Missed the hit opportunity. On the other end, fluff ball chasing down Dark. Dark off the ceiling. Getting another oh, oh, touch. Oh. A huge dunk. Is it going in? No. Fluff ball will get the save, but it's pretty incredible that fluff ball even had to try for a save after that play from Dark. Oh, man, and Fluffball shows he's got the big redirects, too. Forces Dark to make a tough save, and some demos, and a quick transition from the Ospreys forces Bluffball to make an aggressive chance at it, and that is unfortunate because Stockton, so close to opening the door with a demolition, is closed tightly by the Pioneers, and again, Fluffball with a big stop at the midfield line to try and keep possession for Platteville. And this has already been an action-packed game. Multiple saves coming out now from both sides. And a pre-flip from Bussy. He doesn't get credited for a save, but did get in the way of that shot. And now goes downfield. Fluff ball with lots of space. We'll tap it up. And now a double commit. But a double tap from Fluff ball. Almost found Mars. Fluff ball loses control of that one. Dark will go for the backboard. Mars misses his hit. And nice. Fluffball bails him out. Platteville could have given up another one there. Oh, but Gino with a quick flick is actually going to remove Fluffball as a defender, and they go for the pass down. It's too close to the defense, though. I think Stockton probably could have picked on the backboard a little bit there. Dark towards the backboard. Mars doesn't let it bounce this time. Gino is ready for him to miss. Slow up to Mars. Mars to center. Fluff ball with the shot, and it had power. Platteville take the lead. 
Mars, nice job to catch this pass from slow. Just throw it into the middle and hope for the best. Fluffball's got the speed, and you're right. Power to match, 81 miles per hour from that close. Doesn't matter who's in the net. It is always going to be a tough save. And try as they might, Stockton concede a go-ahead. Fluff ball, going for the dunk, it's on the goal line. And now out. Bussy, upfield. Now back to dark, low boost. Clears down the center, fluff ball will be there. Over to the side, it's gonna take it. The miss from Bussy, the shot yeah. from fluff ball. And now, Platteville extend their lead after a critical error from Bussy. Oh, yeah, just didn't quite make the right read. Thought it was either going to bounce out a little harder or it was going to hit a different spot and bounce out further. One way or the other, incorrect pathing and Fluffball definitely made him pay and will put game one out of reach. Or maybe not if Dark can score that. Okay. <laughs> it definitely seems out of reach now. Even if Stockton were, were able to get one at this point, be almost impossible to get two. And we'll see that last attempt get denied. And Stockton losing in game one. Platteville coming out swinging. Fluffball with a pair of excellent goals. And this is, again, not what we expected. And that, well, not entirely unexpected, but definitely. Uh a bit of a surprise to see Platteville have that much effectiveness on the offensive side. The one that really sticks in my mind uh, was where, you know, Bussy just doesn't make that read off the corner. And it's those little mistakes that you, you kind of scratch your head and go, you know, Stockton really makes those most of the time. And that's the one that kind of put the game out of reach. And the other one, of course, where they were real close to shutting down just came down to that pass from Mars into the middle for Fluffball for that absolute zinger into the top of the net. I mean, that was a hotly contested pass. And you really just got to give credit to Fluff Football for, for being in the right place at the right time with a good approach and able to beat the defense. So Platteville having to work for a couple of their goals, one of them gifted to them. And Stockton, despite having a pretty decent start of the game, they actually conceded the first goal, too, on a pretty elementary mistake. So some things to clean up, screws to tighten, and adjustments to be made. See if Stockton bounced back, or if Platteville can keep playing like they were. Bussy gets bumped to the ceiling. Gino has to come in and help out. Fluff ball down the sideline. Nice first touch from Buff, uh, Bussy. Gets the flick as well. Going for the corner pass out to Dark and Slow was there. Mars will test Gino. Good speed from Bussy will hit it downfield, but Fluffball has been waiting in the backs in, on so many plays and been able to get some good clears. It's always nice to know that, you know, Fluffball matches up real well. On the defensive side, he is more than just the second goals per game player in the league, or at least in this conference, I should say. As Dark trying to turn in an air dribble, but you're right. Fluffball, I think, is definitely having a great day on both sides of the ball so far, as doesn't even have to make the save there. Slow clears it out. Fluffball, I even like his profile picture, which looks like a Fluffball. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> on brand. <laughs> Couldn't get that second touch, however, and now scoring opportunity for Stockton. Still dangerous. Bussy will go off the corner. They're being pressed. Gino, the shot was off target. But the defense would not have been able to save it had it been on target. Now the demo on the other end. Yep. Open net fluff ball will add another to his tally as Platteville strike first. And here you see the difference in shooting angles. I mean, this is basically the same thing that Stockton had. The difference is, is where the shot comes from. Gino had to take a shot from basically right up against the wall. Fluffball gets to take it from the top of the box. In both instances, there's a demo to leave the net completely open. Just a much easier play for Platteville. Platteville coming out swinging. Dark centers to Gino. Gino's shot blocked right away. Fluff ball will poke it down. It's above Bussy. Dark had to react quickly. Couldn't get the block. Gino over to Bussy. Bussy 
Going for corner, going for the double tap. Did get the pass wow. out, but Fluffball somehow managed to read it. It's a big takeaway, you know, those awkward second touches when you don't quite have the best approach to the ball like that generally tend to throw defenses off and open a scoring chance so fluffball able to get in front of that one and take wow, that away is just amazing and sets one up and forces dark to clear it into the corner and he is just being a nightmare for stockton oh, to handle goodness. will turn in goal two i feel like everywhere i look every play fluffball is involved this time getting another one getting up so quickly and that perfectly timed air roll to get the right angle on the shot. Man, talk about killing it. <laughs> Fluffball playing king of the hill right now, everywhere on the pitch. He really is. Ding, oh, he missed it. <laughs> but still, it's threatening. A two goal lead, and we have less than half the game left to go. Bit of a miscommunication there, but it's still not too bad. It could in. turn worse, however. Bussy thought for a moment it might have had the angle, but ultimately was wide. Gino caught a bit far out, but still got the ball past slow. Bussy dodging the demos. Dark. Going for the block. Does block it out to Gino. Gino with the 50. That's set wide. Ooh. Dark wanted to put that in, but didn't have enough runway. Low, denying the backboard bounce. Dark waiting. But Fluffball wow. Fluff ready. Ball. <laughs> that, that is actually such a sick save because Gino played misdirection on that shot. He, he was trying to make Fluffball think he was going to tip it out and Dark was going to cut. But Gino was really just faking the approach to see if he could get Fluffball, Fluffball to open a lane for Dark. And Fluffball just, I mean, he read it like a book. <laughs> Fluffball's not having any of it. Making reads left and right. This time, getting it down to slow. Ball on the goal line. Dark dribbling. Might have enough for a flick. Does get the flick, but had to side flip, and it sent it wide right. Backward pass to Bussy. Bussy, not the greatest touch, and that'll fizzle out the attack. And that's what you're worried about if you're on a Stockton fan, you know. They've had some good approaches, but when it comes time to set the ball up, it's kind of collapsed, and that's what you were talking about. They can't afford to just not quite have the offensive firepower to really get the ball in dangerous spots and push coming to shove here. Fluffball is stopping the great approaches and the rest of the approaches are just a little lackluster. 30 seconds left. Stockton trailing by two, very similar to the end of the last game. Dark might have another yeah. opportunity, but Still, it was a bit shaky from Platteville, but they hold on. And you were, they were hoping that demo was going to come through. Fluffball doesn't even try to axe the game. Just says, nah, just throw, throw the ball into the corner, waste more time. They can't win with eight seconds. So Platteville going to be up 2-0. And Stockton back to the drawing board again. So now Stockton find themselves in a situation where they've got to win three straight games to take this series. Platteville... Really, with Fluffball at the helm, he, he seemed to oh, be yeah. everywhere on defense and on offense. Fluffball having a miraculous series. Driving the ship, 100%. I mean, it, it doesn't show the save numbers there, but he was making big stops on the defensive side there. Huge clears on, on great setup attempts from Stockton and Mars. And obviously, uh, great job opening the door slow, you know, supporting as well. But Fluffball, oh, man. <laughs> Get the job done. <laughs> so Fluffball, can he keep this train going? Right now, it seems like they've got a lot of momentum. Might be able to sweep Stockton. And I, again, I, I'd have to go back and look at the prediction board, but did anybody predict? 3-1-3-1-3-1-3-1-3-1-3-1 and 3-0. <laughs> All for Stockton. Well, you know, we've been wrong before. We were wrong the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Game three underway, and it's an early press. Fluffball again. He's going to score the first goal. Look at this demo. It's like you cut it out of a book and you copy paste it here <laughs> into game three. That Bussy, he didn't see it coming. And that is uh, going to be devastating for Stockton. They were shut out last game. 
And now a hot start from Platteville. We might see a sweep. And we collectively as casters will watch our golden egg stock. You know, just it's take plummeting. a nose dive today. Yeah, it's plummeting. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking good. Oh, big block though. Breakaway for Dark. And he will indeed beat him back. It's Mars on the rotation and he's just a little slow. You see how Fluffball was trying to chip it, but Dark had him red, had the height. Fluffball, perhaps the better call would have been to flip into it, but Fluffball, he has no reason not to be confident in his plays. He has been lights out so far, but uh, you know, unfortunately for him, Dark had him red there. Fluffball up the sideline. Dark again denying it. Gino, off the corner. Bussy, now off the back wall. Mars over to Fluffball. The net's oh, open. The pre-flip wasn't enough. Yeah, if that pass was a little bit lighter, the goal was wide open. No one was there. Yeah, I, I was surprised to see Dark still stuck in that pioneer corner because after you see Gino Cop get that double tap and kind of just stall the ball against the wall, you think, all right, well, this, this drive is over. Let's reset ourselves. And to be out of position and get away with it there was very fortunate. Bussy off the ceiling. Gonna save his flip, but slow managed to make the save anyway. I thought Bussy might have had a moment. Slow. Dribbling the ball downfield. Dark. The chip. Mars centers it. Bussy first there. It was challenged. Now Gino gets beat to the ball. Down to Dark. Dark. Flopping it over. And fluff ball will get the clear but dark again there slow tough read dangerous ball still not out stuck in the corner dark will be fighting for it slow down and now fluff ball will go for the clear Gino gets a touch and now we see chaos ensuing in the back on the back line of Platinum and you know I gotta say I, I really actually like dark's approach to the challenge game here for Stockton he's been a tough guy to get the ball passed for free and I think that's exactly what Stockton needs if they want to be able to come back and win this series. They need a, a real tough guy you can go up and really contest for the ball. Gino, patient on that. Now getting the double tap past Fluffball. Low boost on empty. The pinch goes back towards net. Dark, he's racing back. It's oh. in. Devastating pinch. And Stockton will concede yet another goal. Wow, uh, you can't fault Dark. He's playing the clear into the corner. You know, Bussy's playing the ball that gets forced through into the middle. And Slow <laughs> gets wow. the very fortunate <laughs> dunk and run straight down the middle. <laughs> oh my goodness, that has to hurt. And we've all experienced that. And if you haven't, you will. Those Not pinches that go enough, full yeah. field and now <laughs> Fluff ball adds salt to the wound. Great pass to slow. And how about giving it back? Ooh, you knew Buzzy like was in trouble. Play. Yep, let it roll. When you're facing backwards and you don't have a lot of speed because you're right next to the net, it suddenly gets a lot easier to think you're getting mind gamed. And Fluff ball said, fine, you don't want to move? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> just, just I'll just right steamroll this to the corner. There's nothing you can really do. That was the right yep. play. Absolutely. Fluffball recognizing, making that read on the defender. And that is a high percentage shot. Two goal deficit, minute and a half left. Oh. But we see another one slow. Wow. Oh, slow. He did it to him there. A huge 50 win and Bussy oh, gonna be left stuttering. Lucky. <laughs> it's a huge 50 win, but the fortunate part is that the 50 that he won pinged off Mars and went right back into it. Equal part skill and luck, and they combine for a three goal lead. And man, if you're Stockton, you are steaming right now. It really uh, has not been kind to them, huh? That pinch, now that play. And they get one okay. back. So this is not out of reach for Stockton. Dark will get the second goal of the game. Now putting them within two, a bit wow. over a minute left. They've got some time. 
And a little bit of fortune there as well. Mars was expecting Bussy to come up with a touch because Bussy had him beat. So Mars played it as if there was going to be a harder touch towards net. Ended up having to defend Dark's touch. And, you know, Dark doesn't miss that often if he's given space. Fluff ball. Back to Mars. Mars over oh. Bussy and Bussy. Couldn't recover in time. Critical mistake. You're right. The boost spawns, oh, but he jumps he forward. Jumped. He doesn't go towards net. He jumps forward. If he jumps towards net, he probably makes it. But one wrong mistake at exactly the wrong time. Just needed to stay grounded there. there that jump, yep. I don't know what the plan was. Get up to speed for whatever. But you but, just picked up the 100 boost. You don't even need to, I know. You, you know? That's it, I mean, I think he might have been... Ah, it, it's tough to say. There, there's no way to know what Bussy was thinking either way. The jump is not a bad play if it goes towards net, and it just makes the jump look even worse Ooh. when he goes forward. Dark will turn in a big one, though, and keep it within two, but with 30 seconds left, you kind of left wondering if that's going to be enough time to work with. Now, I like that pass from Gino, and an excellent shot from Dark, who does pick up a hat trick, so a good game from Dark. But uh, Stockton gonna need some magic, still down by two. Less than 30 seconds to go. Fluff ball, the shot. Ricochet's out in front of net, oh. off the backboard. Gino will clear it to the corner. Bussy picks up the boost, gets dunk, however. And Dark gonna let that bounce. Ball centered, Gino not there in time. Bussy towards net, slow, will kick it to the corner. And Gino will get denied another upset. Maybe not as big as the previous one, but still an upset. Platteville getting the win over Stockton. Not a team to be taken lightly, and they show you exactly why they come out and really put Platt, or Stockton to the coals, raking them through them. A fantastic series for Fluffball, of course. Slow, I think, really had a couple of key blocks on defense throughout the series, and Mars overall, I think, did a nice job getting uh, Fluffball in positions to be successful. So overall, an excellent series, and you got just what you were afraid of if you were stocked in just not quite enough offensive firepower to put the pressure back on Platteville, and they collapse there. Yeah, I'm just looking at, at what I predicted today, and I predicted a 3-1 to one win for Stockton and a 3-0 win for Ohio State University. So I am Many off, of us did. <laughs> yeah, I am off to a terrible start today on the predictions, but <laughs> I'm sure Sioux College is celebrating, and so is the University of Wisconsin-Platteville. That was a dominating performance as they get the sweep over Stockton. But uh, we'll have to take a quick break, and when we come back, we will break down that action and look forward to the next series of the day. Stay with us.